Hello, welcome. In today's video, we will be looking at how to carry out an FLR restore for a VM image level backup that was done using vProxy. So on your screen, you will see the two backups that we had done in the demo in the earlier videos. So for this video, we will try to restore some a set of files or folders from the Windows machine that we have. This is a Windows 2016 server. So let's go ahead and try and restore some files from the image level backups that we did. For this, let's go ahead and click on Recover. New Recover. Select Virtual Machine Recovery and select the appropriate vCenter. Click on Next. Next, select the image that you want to do the FLR restore from. I'm going to go for the SQL 01 that I have. Click Next again. So this is going to ask me which backups that uh, I want to select. So I'll go ahead with the one with, that we did for the earlier demo. Click on Next again. And now out of all these options, I have to select the file level recovery. So let's select that and click on Next. I just have one copy of backup, so that is the one I have selected. So if in case you have a clone copy, you will have multiple options available. So this will ask you if you want to restore it to the same machine or if you want it to be restored to some other machine. So I'll be restoring back it back to the same machine. Click on next. And this is going to ask you for the administrator credentials. And if in case it's a Linux machine, you would need to give the root credentials. So this is something that not everybody is comfortable doing and is one of the main reasons that I do not like this function. But for this demo, let's go, let me go ahead and provide the credentials. So that what this essentially does right now is it will go ahead and install the VM uh, FLR agent that is a network of proxy FLR agent on the appropriate VM and then once that is done, it is going to mount the image that we have selected for the restore from the data center over to that VM. So let's start. Click on start. And if you see here, it is starting uh, the process. So the first thing it is going to do is to install the FLR agent, which you can see here. So it is saying it's starting mounting. So if you can see the status here, it's installing the vProxy agent. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and try to get some file deleted out of this machine so that we can restore it. I like to delete stuff out of the downloads, so let me delete all of these. Okay, going back to my NMC. Let's see, it's still installing. Now it's done installing, it's establishing communication. I'll try not to forward all those all these steps so that you can see what exactly happens. And if in case there are any issues, you will be see, able to see the difference between what is going on on the screen uh, during this particular process and when you do it on your production. So if everything goes OK, it should be similar to what you see here now. 
So now you see that it is creating a data store, which is essentially mounting your image as an NFS to the vCenter. So now it is mounting the disks from your data store to the uh, VM, which is equal 01 in our case. And then now it is done. So you see that the save set is mounted. Let's go ahead and click on next, which will allow us to browse the file system. So this is the file system from the backup. So let's go ahead and browse and locate our user, our downloads folder, which is under administrator. Downloads. Okay, I'm not able to see any of the folders that we did. Let's go ahead and check the location again. See users administrator demo. Okay, let's go back. C user administrator and administrator demo and then you go to downloads and there you have it all the files there let me select all the files to be restored and then select next This is the destination, so I will try to keep it in the same location that we had deleted it from, which is administrator demo and download. Click on next. So our restore is ready. VM FLR demo and run recovery. Let's go ahead and monitor it here. So it says that the job is started. It has run a part of it, 211 MB. So I think we should start seeing the files there. created the download folder as well there you go I think one more folder left I'm going to pause this video now and we'll I'll get back to you when the restore is almost complete And there we have it. The restore is now complete. Let's go ahead and click on finish. You'll see that it is completed successfully with a green tick. Going back, you will see that all the files are restored. So this is how we do an FLR restore. The pros procedure for the restore is similar to uh, for Windows as well as for Linux. I hope that this session was helpful to you. I'll see you on another video. Thank you.